I'm on Monday, November 7th. Uh, the board readjourns the Monday, November 7th, 2016 town meeting. Okay, so that having been said, sort of to recap where we were, we were giving uh, consideration to staff request to um, take action on the recommendation related to regular full-time employees, um, vacation leave accrual. So with that having been said, uh, we were about to call this item to vote, I had thought, but I'm asking is there any further preceding discussion or concerns? Mm -mm. No. No? Okay. All right. Hearing none. Then is there a motion <coughs> accepting this modification to the employee handbook related to um, vacation leave accrual? I'll make hires. a motion. Okay. For new hires. I'm sorry. For new hires. I'll make a motion to accept the um, suggested changes to the employee handbook for new hires uh, after December 1st, and is that also prior to? Oh. Just after December 1st. After December 1st. 2016. Uh, December 1st, 2016? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, is the motion has been made by Commissioner Buckman. Is there a second for the motion? I'll second a motion. The motion has been made by Commissioner Buckman. It's been seconded by Commissioner Blanchard. Is there any further discussion of this item? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Anyone nay? The motion carries five to zero. Great. Thank you. Okay. I, I would suggest, based on, I think, our conversations, um, we do give consideration to category versus not category for leave, um, whether it's personal vacation, illness, or whatnot, um, and also investigate, if we would, uh, mandatory time, okay? Uh, again, that might not be realistic or perhaps even legal, I don't know, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it should be something for consideration. Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. And like I said, this is a project that will be forthcoming is the um, overhaul of the employment handbook. So okay. we will certainly look into that. Okay. Any other items we'd like to add for direction to town staff related to these handbook items? If we're dealing with a consultant? Nothing at this time? Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, we move to our next agenda item related to pool renovation for consideration. All right, as uh, was mentioned earlier this year, we received a um, community parks and playground grant for $217,000 for the renovations and rehab of the community pool at Community Park. In this grant, we asked for um, some significant pool repair. There has been a leak in the main pool for several years that has cost a lot of money in chemicals and water, and the overall pool was in need of rehab. So after we received the um, grant, we put the, uh, the work out to bid. We submitted an RFP to four local newspapers, and it ran for two dates in September. We held a um, – staff held a pre-bid meeting at the pool on September 22nd. We had five contractors on site. They all received the same RFP, uh, were able to ask questions at the time. They took measurements. They took pictures. I had myself, um, Jimmy Click, and Steve Fissel at the pre-bid meeting? Was it yeah. Okay. And so after that, we asked for sealed bids. They were due on Thursday, October 6th. At that time, we received two bids. Of the five that attended, we received two sealed bids. Staff uh, reviewed the bids for the content and the items that we requested in the RFP. And some things that we noted um, that were different. The pricing was very similar in the two bids. There was only a difference about $3,000 in both bids. One bid 
um, did not include certain items, such as the umbrellas, the replacement of all the coping stones and tiles, and the caulking of the interior expansion joint. And um, so we looked at both of them, and the things, certain things that we were looking for, the main item is the pressure test, pressure test for the pool plumbing. They need to find out where the leak is. And until you know where that leak is, as you'll see in the item below that, repair damage pool plumbing lines, mm -hmm. to be determined <coughs> because we don't know where the leak is and we don't know how bad it is. So um, that is a to be determined item. To counteract that being an enormous ticket item, we do have the item <coughs> listed on the third page of the contract. The contractor shall not proceed with any extra or changed work until a written change order has been issued. This way we know <coughs> up front the cost to repair the plumbing lines and any structural issues. So we also asked for the replacement of all 12 skimmers. New pool ladders, we need three of them. The new lifeguard stands and umbrellas. The new steps into the shallow end. And the way they understand it is the steps are going to be the width of the pool. Oh, nice. And it's going to be a more slowly gradual way into the pool mm -hmm. as opposed to the ladder that kind of rolls up. Um, remove and replace all the caulking in the pool deck area. I know some of you go to the pool frequently. The caulking is pulling up in a lot of the cement. Uh, remove and replace all of the tile and coping inside of the pool. Replaster the entire interior pool surface. New pool. Not plastered together, not spots here, spots there. New pool, new plaster. Um, supply and install a new, paint, uh, new main pool pump. And this was at the request of our staff because the current pool pump is not running at its... 100% efficiency. This would be a much more efficient pool pump, saving water, saving electricity. Repair beam damage of any other structural damage. This would be determined during the demolition and prepping phases, and that's all going to be based on whether or not where the leak is, how bad is the leak. And then the additional fees are going to be all the permits and inspections, a dumpster. And then if you go to the second page, um, the town will be responsible for all the fees related to the permits and inspections. We get a one-year workmanship warranty. Contracted that work will be completed no later June 1st, 2017, which then will be, give the pool management company time to come and get set up so we can open on time. Any day after June 1st, it's $150 per day fee. And that's it for the contract. So I had Miss Nail... Um, contact references. We asked for some references from each company. They are all asked the same the same questions and they both seem got favorable um, references. However, the contract that, that staff recommends after reviewing all the references, reviewing the contract for everything that we specified in our, our RFP, um, the staff recommends going with the Make and Waves contract which you have in front of you. And a little bit of history about um, making waves. One of the references, they've built 24 of their contract pool, concrete pools, excuse me. So they're very familiar with concrete pools. And um, all the references, they were very reliable. If there, if there were any issues, they were addressed very quickly. And each reference would recommend them. Their cost never exceeded their budget. And a little history about making waves. Um, the young man that owns this company, he's a former Emmitsburg resident, has been in the pool many times, has a vested interest in the town and the pool. And based on that, and then his, his contract, what we wanted, his contract, you're getting a full rehab of your pool. The other contract that we looked at was more of a piecemeal you were going to get um, not a brand new one. You were going to get it piecemeal together. Um, I would like to ask, Miss Nail uh, conducted a bunch of the references if she had had anything to add. Um, you got a lot of good words, though, about making waves. Everybody liked that gentleman and thought he did a good job and stayed on budget. And so. Mm -hmm. 
great. So staff recommendation would be the make and waves contract for or proposal for $123,000, knowing though that you have two items that are to be determined. So we've, we have up to the grant, it's up to what? The grant is up to 217000 What we would like to do after we find out the the cost of fixing the plumbing lines and if there are is any structural damage, the remaining amount we would like to put out to bid for rehab of the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that satisfy your question? Okay. Okay. Ms. Buckman? I Ms. Buckman? I'm sorry, Mr. Sweeney, go ahead. I, I would only have one thing. If we had any more money left, uh, we've been trying to, to uh, put a little coating of black top on the on a parking lot for, <laughs> for years. I know. So if we ever have a, any extra money left over. Yes, that request has been two made. Or three <laughs> two or three inches on it would help. help right. Them. Okay. No, I live at the pool in the summer times. <laughs> I have seen a many bloody toes mm -hmm. because of the surface of the, the pool. Can we make sure that it's smoother? Yeah, I can see what he says in here real quick. If you give me I mean, we second. can't just replace it exactly it is because everybody's <coughs> toes bleed from the pool it's surface. Probably be, that pool's really, really old. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, he will do what, I guess, what the the industry standard is, mm -hmm. but I can certainly make that note to him that, you know, this is a concern and ask him what kind of uh, plaster he's going to put down. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you do want a certain friction coefficient yeah, there. Yeah. But yeah, not yeah. so much that you sure. lose skin. Sandpaper. Well, <laughs> right. I don't know. <laughs> right. Mm. And then I have one other thing. Um, we love the pavilion. It's wonderful. Um, it's infested with hornets. And so I don't know if uh, part of this we can caulk up all those openings mm -hmm. to um, keep those kind of hornets away. That would be something we, we could, that staff should be able to do. And that's something we can look into. Mm -hmm. mm. Town staff? Town staff. Okay. Mm. Okay. Just to, uh, just to uh, Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. Just to our town manager, she, she got us the grant mm -hmm. and she did the contract. And uh, as um, I enjoy the pool too, yeah. and um, it is a highlight of the town in the summertime, and it's nice to have put a little bit of money into it and make it nice. Mm -hmm. And I, I think this is a much more of an improvement over last year, and she's done a great job. Yeah. <coughs> Soup to nuts, thank you, and everything. Thank you, okay, Mr. Sweeney. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, you said about the new steps being put in. Did they, they um, I don't know if they looked into anything about putting a little sloped uh, ramp in or? There was some discussion of doing, it, they call it a beach entry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know there was some discussion of it. And this is going to be similar to that. Um, there was just, the beach thing was, I think it was, from my understanding, talking to the contractors up there, that was more costly to do okay. the beach slope. Um, but this is going to be similar to it. Okay. I was thinking about more of a handicap too, sure. you know, the, right. the handicap to get in and much easier than going down the steps. Right. We have that handicap chair as well. There, mm -hmm. is, there is a lift, correct? Uh, yeah, we, we do have the lift, but the ramp tends to help us even senior citizens get in now. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mr. Ritz, any questions or suggestions or comments? No, I think this is great, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, All right. It really needed to. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Blanchard, anything? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm glad the references were pursued and vetted pretty carefully. That was good yes. to hear. Um, so I have absolute clarity. Um, uh, this does not affect the splash pool. No, not at in all. In any way, shape, or form. Great. No. Okay. All right. Um, and what was the other item? The pools that had been built by Making Waves, are they municipal? Because I, I see a Maryland Home Improvement contractor license here, which is great. But are these residential pools that were constructed, do we know? Like or one company, and, and Miss Nail talked to everybody, uh, Kids First Swim pool Schools, they have 30 different locations, and okay. he built 24 of their concrete pools in PA, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and South Carolina. So commercial, that's great. Okay, that's encouraging. Um, the other piece, let's see. Um, it seems like we have sort of cascading priorities, the first priority being identifying the line, the leak in the line that either feeds the pool or... Correct. Is that the We believe one? it is a line underneath the pool. Mm -hmm. Okay. We believe, but 
I'm not sure. Okay. That's the main, that's the main, that's first step number one is find out where your leak is. Okay. And I don't know if this is a realistic expectation, but if the design is such that we have the hardscaping of the pool and the deck here, mm -hmm. and we have the bathhouse with the pump facility here, mm -hmm. it seems to me that the, the straightest line is not always the best line for accessibility. So if we find out the, the feed to the pool, the pump to the pool in goes under the hardscaping in the building, is there value to running it out so we have quicker access to it to maintain it? Okay. Does that make sense? Like it does make sense. Is, is that something, and, and that's yeah, something I would refer to yourself. I mean, I saw yeah. the, uh, the logic there, or yeah, is that the best to put it on the outside of most of the, where you can get to it easier, on the outskirts of the pool, and having the, the, mm -hmm. the feed being just, you know, the right. most spot being at the deep Jesuits. end. Jesuits. There okay. are lots of pipes running underneath <laughs> there, because we <laughs> actually looked into maybe getting brand new piping, but once you look at the schematics, <laughs> There's a lot of piping that runs underneath the concrete as well as the pool. I mean, we may get lucky. It may be right under the concrete. That'd be nice. Okay. Now, that worries me a little bit <laughs> with a lot, of a lot of plumbing under there that we're not seeing. Um, I go back to what we had done on, I think it was South Seton. There was a technology where they had essentially put the fiberglass lining and they, they superheated it with steam, and that expanded it to make the, um, the plumbing, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's say leak-proof for the moment. Is there any means by which we can do that? I mean, do we, do we even know that yet? I guess that's what I'm asking. No, we don't know that yet. Know that. I mean, okay, he, all right. I, I actually spoke to him out there, and he does have some ideas of where he thinks it's coming from. Okay. And there is one good possibility that it's not coming from underneath the pool. Okay. Because the other side of it is, if we're doing all this hardscaping work again and we have complex plumbing, it seems to me there's m almost more value to redoing the plumbing mm -hmm. and then addressing these things as secondary and third level priorities, you know, tertiary priorities. Well, some of these things have to be done for us to pass this coming year, to, for us to pass the... Um, ADA compliance, maybe? Or? The, and the health department, um, okay. the okay. new lifeguard stands and umbrellas, the new ladders, <coughs> and one other thing on here but there was a couple items sure. that we have okay. to do so I mean once he gets in there and, and we'll have a better idea you know and if the recommendation comes back that it's all new plumbing we'll have to investigate that or if it's a simple fix mm -hmm. and that's that's what we'd like to go with the other item and I'm, I know I'm putting you through the ringer here but I appreciate it um, the grant does the town have any obligation for a match on this for the no. 217 Wow no Okay. But the town does have to pay first and then be reimbursed. Okay, all right. And there's a, there's a sunset on this, the timeline to use this funding? I mean, they like it used years. sooner sooner yeah. than later okay. um, right. because they like to keep their books clean like we do. Okay, sure, sure. And the um, sooner we get it done, the, the quicker the pool. Not, you know. Right, and that's what I'd <laughs> right, like to see, right, that right. we still can open on, <laughs> on time in June. Okay, so they're building new walls for the pool, a new basin for the pool. Is that accurate? Or they're just taking it down to rebar and resurfacing these right. things? Right, correct, to resurfacing. Rebar and resurfacing, mm -hmm. okay, all right. Um, so the plumbing kind of remains to be seen. And then in a perfect world, if there's fun, if they can identify it quickly, the resurfacing, the coping around the pool, caulking for the deck, but the deck remains. Correct. Okay, we're not touching the splash pool, splash no. park area. And should funding remain, next priority would be the bathhouses and then the parking lot. The parking lot. Mm -hmm. The Sweeney Memorial parking lot. <laughs> okay. So. He's not the only one. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. All right. Smooth <laughs> lot. And again, is there an ADA compliance issue with the parking lot for accessibility? I mean, do we have, can we at least, as a priority, first fund a paved spot with an access to the entrance? Because I don't think we have that yet. I know we have the hardscape outside. like Right. The, platform way. but mm -hmm. maybe that should be our priority first like a handicap spot with mm -hmm. like wheelchair entry okay um, all right just trying to help well I've monopolized things I can tell you what's, what's cheaper is when we get ready to do our paving in town if we get ready to do a street or something if they have all their equipment and everything here already then it doesn't cost you for mobilization and all that other stuff you add it to you, the you list you need to save mm -hmm. a lot of money Okay, that's like a great idea. 
Okay. I think we're okay. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Can't possibly Comments? be on there. There always will be. <laughs> I, yeah. well, let's hope there are. Okay. To that end, um, is there a I make a motion to accept the the uh, make and, and waves incorporated mm -hmm. proposal for the pool repairs as presented? Is there a second for the motion? I second the motion. Okay, is there any further discussion? Are we, is this the formal contract then? Yes. That will be signed? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, and this has, I didn't mention, this has been reviewed by John Clapp as well. Great, okay, that's, yeah. Um, that eliminates that one. And then $16,500 for lifeguard stands and umbrellas. Yeah, they're about 4,300 to 5,000 a piece. For the okay, stands so and the umbrellas. Two stands? Three. Three stands. Right. So that's yes. $5,000 per stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's $15,000. So that's $500 for a $70 Walmart umbrella <laughs> and two pieces of pipe from Zer Gables for $1,500. <laughs> now, um, I'm somewhat concerned about that piece then. Uh, anybody else? I research. I mean, when I applied for the grant, that was about the amount I put in the grant that we requested for. They don't like the rinky-dink ones. They want the big they ones to the protect ones, them. Yes. Sure, 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 sure. I'm. I'm. I'm all for a sturdy lifeguard <laughs> stand and a safe <laughs> lifeguard and a, yeah. a lifeguard who is uh, attentive to his or her tasks. But right. five hundred bucks for a seventy-dollar Walmart. And, uh, <clears throat> Now, are these umbrellas the ones that they have to remove and put into the? Yes. I see them battling that, not using them because it's a burden. I, they I ask for them. And this last pool management company, we didn't have any. And they asked for us to supply them. And because of the cost, we said, if you want them, you buy them. And they did, and they took them with them. I suspect they weren't carbon fiber. But OK, um, that's an expensive. Piece there. That's the only thing that, that leaps out at me. All right. Well, the motion's been made and seconded. Is there any further discussion? Okay. So all in favor, please say aye. 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 The motion carries five to zero. <coughs> okay. Thank you for your legwork on this. It's appreciated. Okay. We move to agenda item number five. Uh, holiday parking for December. Meter parking. Yes. Um, as we know, Christmas is holiday. The holiday season is fast approaching. And as usual, um, we always like to, you guys like to approve um, free metered parking for a portion of the holiday season. And staff would recommend uh, holiday season free metered parking from December 16th through January 2nd of 2017. Great, thank you. Okay, uh, any questions, concerns, comments? No? Okay. Uh, is there a motion to accept the recommendation as presented? I make oh. a recommendation to accept the holiday parking as presented. Very good, thank you, sir. Is there a second for the motion? I'll second the motion. Is there any further discussion related to this item? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody against? No nays. Thank you. The motion carries five to zero. Okay, uh, the motion was made by Commissioner Sweeney and seconded by Commissioner Blanchard. Sorry. We now turn to agenda item number six: parking meter fee usage for the month of De for the month of December. Presentation by Commissioner Sweeney. Yes, sir. I would like the uh, um, the money that's collected or put into the meters because we do not mark our meters or cover them for holiday parking. Uh, money is still being put into meters during the. The non, uh, no parking or or holiday season that we have no parking for or we don't charge um, when we have visitors come to town also when we have a lot of holiday use for the restaurants and stuff we have a lot of um, skiers and stuff coming to the restaurants and stuff using them but I'd like to see the money to use that's put into the uh, meters for that month from the 16th to the second be uh, half of it go to uh, uh, the food bank because um, these uh, winter months are hard with the food bank for food and the other half be used for the 
go towards uh, to help with the fireworks for the town for community day um i think the residents would like to pay for you know i think the residents should pay some more towards the fireworks and this is a way they could pay towards it um we might have a little write-up in the paper into the december banner to, to say that any extra money put into meters will go towards the food bank and to the uh for fireworks fund mm -hmm. um the fireworks uh, is going to be renewed the contract for three years for the Lions Club. Again, we just voted on that. And the contract is $8,400 a year. Um, it did not go up this year. It stayed the same. But it goes up $500 next year. And usually all the uh, town businesses pay for the fireworks. They donate the funds. We collect them, and the EBPA collected them for the last couple of years, and they will, they'll be collecting them again um, for the next three. Um, but uh, any overages or anything which we've never had will come from the Community Day Fund, and and we'll use that money to, uh, if the we don't get enough donations coming in, which sometimes there's not enough, sometimes mm -hmm. there's not, but we've never had not enough. We've always, right now we have $5,000 to pay for the down payment, which is due next month for the, for, for half of the, for the uh, 4,000, whatever it is, for the first down payment left over from the donations we took in this year because the donations come in all year long. They don't just come in at, for the month of June. They come in from December clear up to now, the uh, next December. So, uh. We, we collect it all through the year, but that's what I would like for it to be used for if the commissioners so see that. Okay. Um, any questions for Commissioner Sweeney? I think it's a great idea, and I think I would be more inclined to be generous at the meter if, if there was a sign saying um, many going into this meter between this and this date goes towards the, to feed the hungry and that sort of thing. For our community day. Yeah. I would be inclined to plop Many, as many quarters as at the bottom of my purse. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I, I definitely agree. There's, I think there's definitely value in some sort of signage. But the question is, um, if we go with uh, heavy signage, there's a burden there cost-wise. If we go with heavy cardboard stock, there's a portability problem there, and that <laughs> off they go. Mm -hmm. uh, not well, just a small laminated sign that could be tied on with a red ribbon I think that would be great that, I just I just worry about them walking away but I don't want to be held hostage by mm -hmm. you know some ooh, right. Grinches we could look into some options see if they see what's out there get creative mm -hmm. I'd rather almost see us do it in-house I mean I think sometimes when we well yes you guys are more creative than anybody out there that's for sure well yes I mean, yeah so. I mean there's in town it's easy right so it would uh, be a big much. boost for town, <laughs> for the town staff and the town itself, showing that how you know we get back to the community and and mm -hmm. everything and sure that's how I see it. Yeah, there, there's definitely value to this. Um, now, to be specific, um, half the funds collected would be uh, donated to the food bank, and half the funds collected would be uh, used to pay for. The fireworks specifically, yeah, so right? It would go okay. to the EBPA along okay. with the uh, <coughs> donation that the, the town gives every year. Okay. So it would be added to that donation. So would we be, would the town itself write the check to the fireworks vendor or? They would write to the EBPA like they did the last three years, I guess. Okay, it would be. all right. Mm -hmm. And is that a concern? I mean, I'm almost, no, you're yeah, okay the with The fireworks that? is a separate account from the from the community okay. day itself. Mr. Blanchard, yeah. you're okay with that? All right. Commissioner Ritz, Commissioner Buckman, you're okay with it, that format? Okay, all right. Um, fair enough. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, is there a motion to uh, support Mr. Sweeney's um, parking meter fee usage for the month of December? I'll make a motion to accept the parking meter fee usage for the month of December as presented by Commissioner Sweeney. Very good. Uh, is there a second for the motion? I'll second. Great. The motion has been made by Commissioner Buckman and um, seconded by Commissioner Ritz. Is there any further discussion? Okay. Um, Commissioner Sweeney, I think this is a great idea. I think the board is in agreement on that. Mm -hmm. This is a really good, good thought. 
Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody against? <laughs> the motion carries five to zero. Okay, we go on. Okay, uh, we hope to set our agenda for the December 6th town meeting. Remember, that's a Tuesday after the uh, the cool Christmas tree lighting, holiday tree lighting. Yeah, sorry. Okay, um, Ms. Willits, any items? Uh, we would like to bring the item that was tabled, the amendment to section 8.04, abandoned property for discussion and possible consideration. Great, okay. would like to bring the dog park location pending any recommendation from the parks committee mm -hmm. as well as we'd like to bring the park pavilion deposit request that's also been forwarded commissioner Ritz and the parks committee also for any recommendation okay and those are the three I have okay um, any concerns about these as our agenda items for our next meeting mm -mm. in December? December, can you imagine that? I know. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I, I will make a request that we please do contact the Southgate HOA just to advise them that we are discussing, again, the dog park issue, uh, the site recommendation. I think they'll be pleased by the recommendation based on what I've seen in the maps that have been posted. Mm -hmm. Ex but excellent point. The the president of the Southgate HOA is a member of the Parks and Rec Committee. Oh, very good. Will he be seen? Will you see him? In, I'm, well, I'm, I'm hoping, but I'll, okay. I'll clarify. Sure. Would you confirm. be willing to be? Would you be willing to be the contact person? I'd be willing to do that. Okay. All right. Great. So that's unburdening town staff. See, I'm always working. Thank for you. you. <laughs> okay. Is that okay by you, Mr. Rich? Just as a note, we've. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. We've we have not received any public comment on. The dog park location. The new location. The new location. Okay. Um, could we refresh its presence on the web page and identify with an arrow really clearly? It has that been. map. Yeah, it's a brand okay. new map. There's a new map, like this. since the last map with the kind of the. Uh, yes. At the last meeting, it. it was requested for a right. much user okay. friendly map. That's been done. And okay. Caracourt. It's much better. Caracourt. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. <laughs> I love dogs. I love my dogs. But we can refresh it and move it to the top. That'd be great. I think that'd be good. Um, and I guess regarding the request we received this evening, just moving forward to other items just in general, um, the public comment related to visibility of events upcoming. Mm -hmm. I think we got some heavy ones coming up. Obviously, the tree lighting event. We have the events the following Saturday. We've got the following Saturday after that, mm -hmm. the um, Lions Club event here in the building. And maybe a seat school has a big event. The, the breakfast, the Santa's Saturday. breakfast, the and Santa's all that's on 99. And 99 oh. is linked to the website, yeah. Okay, um, and then the calendar on the website, I believe. And I haven't looked at it lately. She does have all the events, they don't scroll across the top. But if you click on the calendar, you can see upcoming events, and then she does okay. put it in the news. Um, so you think we're covered there? And Facebook, I, I okay. you know, we do the best. I mean, we're leaps and bounds from where we were. Sure, sure, um, very true, very true. The the website and the Facebook, and and we do our best to get everything out. Um, this time of year, she is bombarded by requests, and, and she tries to get oh. them out as quickly. And Miss Nail takes care of ninety nine, and posting flyers. Okay. Yeah, and um, a lot of times she she can't. If they're for the next month, like December, they don't go into. We December. wait a little while. November is usually full, yeah, because it's usually full. I have everything on now. Right. Turkey Trot. Seven slides. Mm -hmm. okay. On our website, there is a section for business directory and community directory. Okay. So all the business website or the businesses in town, you know, mm -hmm. to the best of our knowledge, are on there as well as all the community organizations with contact okay. information and phone numbers. We don't have a map on there. I think a new map would be nice. So if somebody does track one down, we weren't happy to put it on the website, you know. The okay. A link on the website for new visitors to town or new homeowners. I think that's a great idea, mm -hmm. um, but it would be what do you want to put on there? And also, I don't know how we change it, but if you put in um, the internet directions to the town office, it still gives you the old town office. I don't know how mm. we affect that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's on our website? Question. No, if you put in to uh, town of Emmitsburg and. Yeah, I don't know how That's to change a Google change problem. That. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we can Google that solution. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Well, I, I get, but I, coming back to it, my concern is that if if uh, our resident was using our town website and was still having trouble with it, anything we can do to enhance it further. And I, I know, trust me, I, I I am the one running the flag up the hill for the new website. Um, <laughs> but maybe we could. Uh, Whatever creative, there's that word again, creative response could come forward would mm -hmm. be great. Um, I would even, you know, ask um, uh, Terry to consider, um, you know, looking at other towns' websites again. And she I know does. she's done that. I know she's done that. But just to see who really sells well what's going on there to bring it to the community because uh, that's a really, that's a really mm -hmm. strong concern that I have that, yeah. you know, someone who's new to our community with young kids can't find it. And right. Uh, obviously, you know, her point is that, you know, she's digitally savvy, yet unable to find what's going on. <coughs> um, and it's not just us, but if we can be that gateway, let's be mm -hmm. that gateway. So. Yeah, so Emmitsburg, um, the Citizens Advisory Committee would like to ideally take over the calendar and, and disseminate information from <coughs> anyone who has it and, and end up having that information come to us and having a um, calendar that you can click on and then get the link. Yeah, we can talk about that. There'd be obviously some issues about that because we do post so much just town business that comes straight from staff. Right. Um, so it's something that we can certainly look into and look at what other towns. And I absolutely do like her idea of the, the new resident page or the new right. visitor page. And, I mean, something that, you know, recommendations from, from the board or from your Citizens Advisory Committee of what we can put on there I think would be a great mm -hmm. idea. And then also the calendar, you can't use it on a phone. It doesn't, you can't scroll. Can't access it. You can't, you only could get um, Sunday and Monday. So a lot of people don't have a computer and all they use is their phone. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. As opposed to just cramming everything to Sunday and Monday. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be good for yeah. trail days. <laughs> so okay. Great. Um, any other items? Hearing none? Okay. So, uh, we now have our agenda. Everyone's satisfied with the agenda as it's presented? Mm -hmm. We have consensus there. Is that accurate? Okay. So these things having been said, uh, I – well, we have to sign the items. Is that right? And then Correct. conclude our meeting. Mm -hmm. So pending Thank the signature of those things. To, uh, to uh, close the town meeting. Very good. Is there a second for it? I'll second. Very good. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, good night. See you all at the turkey trot. Bye-bye. Close, close session. Wait, we, oh, we go to the close session, of course. <laughs> but wait, we got to close this meeting, correct? Correct. Right. Okay. So, very good. All right.